former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria and Emir of Kano, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, says policymakers have failed to produce what the country needs at this time of economic crisis. Emir Sanusi says the country needs a vibrant policy that will make everyone to change their appetite for foreign goods and start patronizing homemade ones. This, he says, will help Nigeria to create the much-needed world, increase productivity of the manufacturing sector, create employment and help the country to show up its foreign reserves. But you know what we discovered? We discovered that there were 33 different varieties of seed that can produce this China red paste sitting in Nigerian research institutions that pension services trained them we negotiated a price for the farmers. If that factory, that factory has started operating, if that factory operates at full capacity, it can produce one third of the total tomato paste import into this country in one year. So it's just about looking at a problem, having the right policies addressing consistently. But the governor of Oshun State, Ralph Aragweshala, who was also at the same event as the EMEA, called on the federal government to borrow from institutional ban international banks now or sell off its national assets to liberate the country from its present economic crisis, while the president of the latter rain assembly uh, church now, Tunde Bakari, urged the federal government to help average Nigerians who are finding it hard to make ends meet at this time. Free fall of Nigerian economy had begun long before the coming of to power of APC, regardless of how you want to put it, what we are experiencing today could, could have been properly papered over, but had been there before our advent. It has come to the Naga now, and we can only be thankful that it's not worse than it actually is, because indeed it could have been worse. It's no, it's no use even say what I want to say, but it could have been worse. It's enough. The fundamental problem is that we can no longer fund, and that is key, we can no longer fund our imports, an artificial, fake lifestyle, all of us, because our foreign exchange earnings are progressively declined while our, while our taste for, for and dependence of foreign goods have continued to increase. As we examine the economics of change, we must be mindful of the everyday Nigerian. From the importer who can't access foreign exchange, to the manufacturer whose loan capital has been devalued by over 100%, from the parent whose naira estimation of the cost of education for its world has been overwhelmed by the cost of a dollar, to the employee whose remuneration has become the victim of a downward spiraling purchasing power, it is to these Nigerians that we owe actionable solutions. 